I want to next look at our operator interface. And by operator interface, uh, you know, really mean kind of exactly as it sounds. This is a, a display that's designed to uh, be placed right at the machine. And it can either be run on a computer at the machine uh, or it can potentially be run on a, a tablet. Um, but ultimately it's designed to present the operators with direct feedback into their performance. Uh, the operators can also add a, a layer of context to the machine data that we're collecting. Uh, and it helps uh, our, our customers start to see this machine data um, you know, with the, the additional uh, information surrounding job and, and operator performance. So just to give a quick tour, um, this particular machine is currently running. We can see the job it's running, um, some basic data points here surrounding performance. Uh, and you can also see this, this tab display. Uh, you can think of each one of these tabs as a miniature application. Uh, and this has a lot of flexibility such that you can even think about bringing in custom tabs, maybe that would integrate with a work instruction package where an operator can bring in blueprints, uh, maybe it would integrate with an SPC type tool uh, where an operator can enter first article dimensions or uh, their work and process inspections. Um, yeah, there's again, a lot of flexibility to, to help customers get the most out of this, uh, this sort of package. Um, one of the key components though is the ability to categorize downtime or enter part rejections. So we could see here some recent uh, categorized downtime uh, one that happened at uh, 3.08 p.m. this afternoon for part inspection. Uh, and what you can think of doing, not only reporting on this data, uh, but helping you know, really the operator to get help uh, immediately rather than having to wait. Uh, this can trigger a notification via text or email uh, to a material handler or, or to a quality inspector. Um, you know, maybe if a part is in an in inspection state for uh, depending on the customer, maybe more than 30 minutes or an hour, a quality supervisor might be notified um, as it could indicate that there's a potential question um, you know, around the, the part or uh, maybe a more severe issue, um, or maybe it's just waiting on personnel bandwidth to be available to actually perform the inspection. So really what this does is, is simplify the, uh, the, the resolution to downtime events. Uh, if we do need to categorize an issue, uh, the operator will be prompted to do so in real time. Uh, but here we can categorize a historical event, it's just a couple of clicks. The operators can choose from a, a mix of, of user configurable categories. Uh, so if this one's down for um, yeah, maybe preventative maintenance, that can be entered here uh, and then it'll be saved alongside the machine data. Uh, the last component, uh, yeah, it, I think that will interest the audience here the most is being able to categorize some of the, the part rejections. Uh, there's a basic tool built within machine metrics uh, such that users can uh, enter scrap directly at the machine. So for folks that are employing quality at the source type systems, uh, this can be a, a helpful tool. Uh, and much like downtime categorization, uh, any sort of um, uh, uh, category can be applied. Um, so maybe where uh, this one's noting a thread error, um, any notes can be added. Maybe there's uh, you know, some issue where the threads are damaged or a no-go no -go gauge goes. Uh, that can be, be added in detail and then the rejection can be submitted. Uh, that can start to alert quality personnel. Uh, you'll also see the changes reflected on the uh, performance dashboard. Uh, and after a short ref refresh here, we'll see the, uh, the, the key, key performance indicators updated based on that part rejection.